Hey YouTube, this is Martina here. I'm here to give you a tutorial on how to use the Flamingo Wax Strips on your eyebrows. So this is my first time using these. Um, clearly it's coronavirus time and so I can't go get my eyebrows waxed so I have to do them at home. I'm very familiar with doing my own eyebrows. Um, I usually buy a brand um, from Sally's, but I decided to give these a try. I believe they were like $10. I think I ordered them straight from the website. I think I got like 10% off or something like that. So I was like, well, it's worth a try. Um, so what comes in here are the 20 wax strips. You also get um, six post wax cloths, and then you get this calming serum, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to use these on your eyebrows. I think sometimes these kind of things can be challenging because they're not shaped towards your eyebrows. So what I like to do is shape it myself and cut it out to the appropriate um, shape of my eyebrow. Um, and these, they say you can just um, take it off and peel it and just stick them on. But I kind of like to warm the wax in my hand. I'm used to doing that um, with the brand that I use from Sally, so I'm still gonna do that today. So what I like to do, is hold um, the strip up to my eye and you can kind of see that it's a little like translucent like you can see my eyebrow like I can see where I want my line to be and I can see where that excess hair is that I don't want so I'm going to take a sharpie this includes the utensils you will need is a sharpie and some scissors and I'm just going to like outline my eyebrow not the best drawing right but trust me it's gonna help. Then you're gonna take your scissors and you're just simply gonna cut. All right, so this is where, this is the, the hair that I'm gonna be waxing. And I like to keep the top, all is not wasted because then I'm gonna actually use the top to do the top of my eyebrow. So I'm gonna warm it up in my hands for a second. Like I know that's not required, that's not in the directions, but, um, Warm wax ain't never hurt nobody. So I'm just like sawing in between my hands. And the cool thing is, is it's two-sided. So once again, I can use this on the other eyebrow as well. So I'm gonna peel it apart, lay the one to the side. Okay. Stick it on there. And I had previously brushed my eyebrows. I know you're all like, how does she know where to put it? I had already like brushed my eyebrows kind of out of the way. So stick it on there, rub it in. So it's like, gets a good stick. And I actually, I know this is so weird, but I like the feeling of getting my eyebrows waxed. It doesn't hurt to me. Um, I like how it feels. It's like this release, it like feels really good to me. So make sure it's gotten all that. And then you're just gonna rip it from the outside of your eye to the middle. Well, that didn't work out perfectly. Okay, so I know I had some success. You can see the hair, the hair on there. Okay, pretty good. It's, it's gonna be a little sticky. That's where those little cloths come in, wrong side. But pretty good. I'm not gonna use the cloth yet. Let me do the top of my eyebrow next to get rid of those pesky little, there's like those fine hairs that you don't really notice, but they they get in the way of making your eyebrows look great. Forgot to warm it up a little bit. Maybe that's why I was having a hard time separating it. Warm it up, warm it up, warm it up. Like I said, you just have to make your own shape. Like don't, um, be overwhelmed by the fact that they're not already pre-shaped for you. Like I said, I've, I've done this a lot with other wax strips, so I think it's easy for me. These seem pretty good though. I mean, these are comparable to the ones I was buying at Sally and probably the same price. Okay. Well, they don't rip the best. They kind of tear up. I guess that's one um, bad thing. Got my little fine hairs, little fine hairs. I mean, it's a pretty good though.
if anything, yeah. I mean, especially when you look at both my eyebrows, right? Like I had all that excess hair here, like I have right here. Yeah, they're pretty good. I will say the only bad thing is they seem like they don't get like a perfect um, tear. Like they, they've kind of torn up a little bit when I, when I rip it. Because you have to be quick. I mean, you don't want to like put yourself through like agonizing pain. And my eyebrows are a little different on both sides. I'm pleased with this one though. So make sure your skin, skin is clean, that it's not like oily. It's best to work on clean skin, okay? Yeah. Dark hair. Yeah, and I like my eyebrows a little thick. I mean, my eyebrows are naturally very thick, so. Do the top part. So this is one strip. I basically use one strip to do both eyebrows, uh, which is nice because that's, that's 20 wax strips. That means I can do this 20 times. And I bought this for $10 and I love my wax lady, but I mean, I pay $20 every time I go get my eyebrows waxed, so. Of course, it's something about being pampered too that you just love. Um, okay, so I use my little cleansing cloth. Um, yeah, I think they turned out good. So I would definitely use this product again. Um, they sell it at Target, which is great. You can get it directly from Flamingo. I believe it was like free shipping when I ordered it, which is great. Um, so definitely give Flamingo a try for your eyebrows. Now, I don't know about, like I saw other people doing videos about giving themselves Brazilians and doing their underarms. I don't trust myself to do any of that because those things are actually very painful. Like giving yourself a Brazilian wax, I would never try to do that. It's painful when somebody else does it. So I absolutely don't want to do it myself. But I would highly recommend these um, for doing your eyebrows at home. All right, thanks.